Trying to learn Chinese with movies? Welcome to Fluent You, and today we're counting down our picks for the best movies for learning Mandarin Chinese. We'll also highlight the movies that are best for beginners. There's no better way to learn new words and grammar or to improve your listening comprehension. Even better, these movies offer a fascinating glimpse into the history and culture of China. Some will make you laugh, some will make you cry, but all these movies will help you learn Chinese naturally. By the way, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. Number 17, The Story of Chiu Ju. This comedy drama is the work of award-winning director Zhang Yimou and stars the acclaimed actress Gong Li. Li plays the role of a determined pregnant woman who is in pursuit of justice. When the village chief kicks the woman's husband during a dispute, she travels to the city to file charges against the chief. As she moves her way through the system, results just get more and more frustrating. And all she wants is a simple apology. The lines in this film feel less like a script and more like an authentic dialogue, thanks in part to the documentary style shots of street scenes. You'll also get a view of China in the early 1990s. Number 16, EE. What does life mean to you? In EE, members of a modern Taipei family each try to find their own answer to this question as they strive to overcome their personal dilemmas and challenges. Through depictions of personal and work problems, budding love, a waning sense of worth, and even the mental anguish of having a relative in a coma, EE poses the question, how do you move forward when nothing around you makes sense? The film is a compelling look at modern inner struggles and what drives people to overcome their challenges. Learners have a lot to gain from listening to the clear and standard Mandarin Chinese spoken by the actors. The film is long and full of dialogue, making it a great choice to practice listening comprehension. Number 15, Together. This is the story of a man who wants his son to succeed as a violin player. You'll get a strong sense of the common Chinese mentality that success comes from extreme focus and even greater sacrifice. The story depicts the emotional connection between the man and his son as they move to Beijing for a music competition. There, the hardworking father often puts his son's competition ahead of their own relationship, creating tension between the two. But it's not all drama and angst. The movie also has moments of humor between the child and his violin teacher. Together gives you a glimpse of the challenges faced by many Chinese people who move to big cities. You'll hear different kinds of heavy accents in the film, providing some excellent listening practice. By the way, before we continue, here's an important question. How are you supposed to learn Chinese from these movies if you can't even understand them? I guess you'll be looking up words, writing them down, making flashcards, and maybe falling asleep. Well, there's an easier, better way. If you like learning Chinese from movies, then I know you'll love Fluent You. With Fluent You, learn from a wide range of contemporary videos like movie trailers, TV shows, commercials, and music videos. Fluent You will make your video-based learning far more fun and effective. It'll save you time with interactive captions. Just tap on any word to instantly look it up and see examples from other videos. In fact, with its video dictionary, you can look up any word that you're curious about. This is just the tip of the iceberg. With quizzes and space repetition, you'll be able to break down and master videos that seem out of reach for you right now. We've got a free trial, so go ahead and visit FluentU.com or download the app for your iOS or Android device. Now on to the next movie on our list. Number 14, Happy Times. Ready for something less heart-wrenching? Try this offbeat comedy. It's funny in a way that's typical of many Chinese films. Instead of goofiness for the sake of it, Happy Times uses humor to tell a mature story about love and friendship. The story follows a motley crew of retired friends who set up a fake hotel in an abandoned warehouse and with good intentions, hire a blind girl to work in it. Hilarity ensues as the friends are sucked deeper and deeper into the scheme. You might be too busy laughing to focus on the learning with this one, but it's worth the effort to tune in. This film is perfect for listening to natural lighthearted conversations and picking up some everyday expressions of romance and friendship. Number 13, Last Train Home. Last Train Home deals with an important and unavoidable aspect of modern life in China, trying to get home during the holidays. This international award-winning film is a documentary about the hundreds of millions traveling at once during the national holidays in China. 
you'll see the struggles of being a family separated physically and emotionally by the need to move to large cities for work. If you can get past the heavy local accents, this film is a great choice for building vocab related to transportation, basic business terms, and family dynamics. You'll also learn one even more important lesson. Never attempt to travel by train during the Chinese New Year. Number 12, to live. If you're trying to learn Chinese with movies, to live should be at the top of your list. This movie is touted by many Chinese cinema buffs as being the quintessential film about the Cultural Revolution. From humor to heartache, birth to death, and everything in between, to live shows the drastic changes that families went through during this tumultuous time. The film gives a big picture perspective of the time period, but it also portrays the character's struggles in an intimate way, helping viewers identify with the situation on a personal level. Beyond the rich history and culture, this film also offers unique benefits for Chinese learners. The dialogue is simple enough for intermediate level learners to follow even without subtitles. Number 11, The Blue Kite. If to live whet your appetite for more depictions of the Cultural Revolution, you'll want to add The Blue Kite to your list. The Blue Kite easily rivals to live as a defining film about the era, except this time, the story is told from the perspective of a little boy. It's hard not to get attached to the main character as he spends his young childhood with three different father figures. Since many scenes show the boy and his family having simple conversations, you'll be able to keep up with the dialogue even if you're new to the language. Don't be fooled though. Despite the simple words used, The Blue Kite is an evocative and compelling film. Number 10, Not One Less. This is another great movie for beginners. It's a simple story about a school teacher in a village in rural China. The film highlights the discrepancies in education between children in rural and urban areas. As the film shows, even something as commonplace as a piece of chalk can seem like a luxury. The film focuses on a school teacher who's just a child herself. When a student runs away to the city, the teacher is forced to go look for him if she wants to keep her job. The film uses wonderfully simple Chinese in conversation, and many of the actors aren't professional. They're basically speaking as they would in real life. This is a great way to study natural Chinese, and it makes the film even more touching and all too real. Number 9, Beijing Taxi. This documentary follows three taxi drivers through Beijing in the time leading up to the 2008 Beijing Olympics. During this time, the city of Beijing changed a lot, with many old neighborhoods torn down to make room for Olympic facilities. This film gives a great look at the everyday lives of hardworking people in the midst of changes that they have little control over. Beijing Taxi is the movie for you if you're looking for some authentic Beijing accents. Number 8. Please vote for me. China doesn't have elections. Or does it? This documentary is about a democratic election, supposedly the first of its kind in China, for class monitor in an elementary school in Wuhan. The film follows the three candidates through many classroom scenes, debates, and coaching sessions with their parents. It's a very modern look at middle-class life in China, and a great way for learners to get in some valuable practice. In some scenes, the students all yell over one another, making it a challenge to keep up. Other scenes feature conversations between the kids and their parents, so the language used is fairly simple. If you're looking for a film with an easy-to-follow story and beginner-friendly vocabulary, Please Vote For Me might be perfect for you. Number 7, Up the Yangtze. This film documents the enormous effects that the Three Gorges Dam project has had on many people. As one family faces losing their home to the flooding caused by the dam, the young daughter finds work on a cruise boat. There, she meets a proud, popular worker who has plenty of ambition but lacks a strong sense of tradition and values. The two characters and their story really drive home the cultural changes facing modern China. The shifting nature of culture in modern China is a popular topic among Chinese people, so this film is great for picking up vocabulary and material for future conversations. Number 6. The Road Home Directed by Zhang Yimou and featuring a teenage Zhang Ziyi, The Road Home is a sweet love story set about 50 years ago in rural China. A young, new school teacher arrives in a small village. He wins the heart of one of the village girls, and the two get married. Years later, when her husband passes on, 
the woman's determined to hold her husband's burial procession by foot. It's a long journey, but the woman's determination leads the procession forward. The film shows the life of the couple when they were young, against the backdrop of the man's passing. Learners will find the road home easy to follow because there's few characters to keep track of and the story is very relatable. The film's also an excellent choice if you want to get a glimpse of China before the Cultural Revolution. Number 5. The King of Masks You might already know about the Peking Opera, but have you heard about mask changing? The King of Masks is the heartwarming story of a traveling entertainer who excels at this particular art. The aging performer adopts a young boy so he can pass on his skills. But as he learns the truth about the child, their relationship becomes rocky, and the story catapults to a dramatic resolution. The glimpse of their life at home aboard a houseboat is fascinating. The film also gives an interesting look at Chinese street performances and street life from long ago. Number 4. Raise the Red Lantern Directed by Zhang Yimou and starring Gong Li, this film is set in the 1920s and is about a wealthy man and his four wives. The movie shows the wives' interactions, sometimes friendly, but often jealous and conniving. This is no easy ride. As the plot develops, the film comes to a very dramatic climax. If you want something intense, look no further. Number 3. Shanghai Triad Take a trip to 1930s Shanghai, to the criminal underbelly of the country's biggest drug empire of the time. The film shows the extravagance, scandalous lifestyles, and violence of the setting through the eyes of a young country boy recruited to work for the boss. As the young man tries to settle into his role as a servant to boss's mistress, he gets sucked deeper and deeper into the dangerous world he finds himself in. This isn't your typical gangster movie and shows some incredibly beautiful cinematic sequences. It'll also give you an appreciation for the romantic Shanghai of the 1930s. Number 2. Shower A young wealthy businessman races home to Beijing after receiving a message from his handicapped brother suggesting that their elderly father has died. Instead of a funeral though, he finds his dad quite alive and hard at work in their traditional family-owned bathhouse. The death scare is enough to open his eyes to his dad's mortality, the fate of the bathhouse, and his own life values. Shower is a humorous and heartwarming story that examines what happens as cherished traditions clash with the modern world. Number 1. Eat Drink Man Woman Who doesn't love food? Eat Drink Man Woman takes this love to a new level. The film, set in modern Taipei, follows a retired chef and his three daughters as they all sit down to share one meal together every week. The story depicts a change in traditional values, which can be seen in the portrayal of the daughters' individual lives and successes. Throughout the movie, the theme of food permeates the story. Many scenes show tantalizing shots of the retired chef preparing meals. Eating delicious food and sharing mealtime are very important aspects of Chinese culture, and any Chinese learner should familiarize themselves with the traditions surrounding mealtimes. Eat, drink, man, woman is an excellent way to do so, even if it does make you hungry in the process. So, do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments below. And check out this other video from Fluent You, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.